In this video, we're going to learn how to collaborate using GitHub and Visual Studio Code. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for a student account with GitHub. So make sure you use your student email. Once you sign up, you then need to give yourself a username. So I suggest just using a student number and HKS. That way you can find uh, the peers in your class and you can set your password. Once your account is created and verified, we're going to create a new repository. So you can press that big green button. Or you can go to the plus symbol in the top right and go to new repository. From there, we're going to create a repository. So I'm going to give mine the name APCSA. So it's just a general repository for all my CSA work. Give it a description. This is optional, of course. Then we can choose between a public and private repository. Just use public because we're going to be submitting this work. So you need to be able to share it publicly. It's good practice also to add uh, a readme file in um, GitHub. We're not going to for this demo. So we'll click create repository. From here, we then have our repository created. This is our Git repository URL here. And if we go to settings, and we click on manage access, we're going to invite the collaborators. This is where you're going to add in the person who you're, you're collaborating on with this project. So search for their username. Hopefully they made it their SKU number with HKS suffix. Back on our machine, we now need to install the GitHub extensions. Go to the extensions tab in Visual Studio Code. So type in GitHub pull request and issues. Look for the one which is actually developed by GitHub. So you can see that second one there. See where it says GitHub. We can see the developer is GitHub. You know, it's an authentic one. And then just click install. This will install all the necessary dependencies that you need. And then we can head over to uh, the settings tab. So once it's installed, it should look like this. We go to settings and in the uh, search, to search for GitHub enable. And then just make sure that you have GitHub enabled there. Should do that by default. And head back to the Explorer tab where you open up your projects. I'm going to click on Clone Repository. Okay, then we need to find the URL for our repository. So we go back to Safari. Click on that URL copy icon, which I showed you before. So go to Code tab, click on Copy, back to Visual Studio and paste that in. And as it says in that prompt there, we press enter. Okay, that's asking us where we want to select the location. So I'm going to go to my coding folder, select repository location. Okay, and then would you like to open the clone repository? Click open. So when we open that up, currently it's just a blank folder. We we'll click that folder icon and we we'll create a new folder called Maze Route. Obviously, you will name this depending on your project. Next, we'll click New File and then we'll create a new Java file. So let's put some text in there. That'll do. And then save it. Obviously, make sure you file it, save it with the Java extension so it knows it's Java. Make sure it's in that correct folder. So make sure it's inside my repository, inside that other file, and then save. So I'm going to copy and paste some, some code into that, but at the moment it's just a, a normal Java file. You can see that U that's next to it. Uh, that means that it's not committed yet. So when you go to the GitHub tab, click sign in, and then click continue to authorize the app. It should pop up as long as you're already logged in. I'm going to click Authorize GitHub, access your information, click Allow, and it'll launch up the application, allow the extension, and then you should see that login part disappear. So we're going to go to the Extension tab uh, for Source Management. You see we've got a couple more options here now. Okay, so I've changed my code now, so I want to stage this. So first of all, I'm going to give a little message saying Initialize. I'll stage my code. 
and I'll hit the tick button to commit it. So I've committed those changes. And then I'm going to push this to GitHub. So I press on that little three dots there and I can push it. This will then push all of your code up to the GitHub repository. Uh, for the first time it's going to come at this and say, do you want to fetch periodically? You can just click yes for that. Okay, I'm going to show you that one more time. So I'm going to create a new file again. This one's going to be called mazerunner.java. It's already in a Java repository, so Visual Code sets up my class for me. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I can see that U there, so I know it's not committed. Go back to my change tracking tab. I'm going to add in a message, initial commit of Maze Runner. Stage my changes. Click the tick to commit. It's going to say we well, haven't saved yet, so make sure you commit that and save. And then it will push. Okay, so if I go to my GitHub now and refresh my repository, I can now go into my folder. I can see the last commits and how long ago they were done. If I go to the history, I can see who has submitted and who has contributed to that file repository. So each lesson when you come in, you'll go to your tab, you'll click on those uh, dots there, you're going to click pull just in case your partner has done some work before. Make sure you've got the latest version of your code. Make any changes that you're going to be making. Run it and debug it. Make sure your code works before you stage it or commit it. Then we're going to make sure that every time you commit something you add a message so we know what's completed and what needs to be completed. Try and be detailed with those. Stage it, commit your code, and at the end of the lesson, you will push your code to the repository. And that'll be your workflow for each of the lessons to ensure that you're collaborating on the same project. And when you submit your project, you're gonna submit your GitHub repository, and I'll be able to see who has contributed to, to what on your projects.